Hi guys, VST here, Ben Esprit Tech. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for coming back. And what a wonderful day today, Friday. Uh, we are about to start a weekend. But before we start a weekend, I'm going to give you guys this video, very much requested video on how to get custom watch faces on the Huawei GT2 watch, all right? You can see I'm already using the watch. You can see my full review of this watch here on the right side. I've been doing some extensive tests, water tests, sports tests, anyway, functionality tests. But today I'm gonna show how you can get like this very nice and much requested custom faces, you know. And I really hope you guys that you're gonna like the video. I'm really flexing right now some of the watch faces that I use. And uh, contrary to the opinion that you cannot have more than one custom watch face, uh, I have a lot of custom watch faces, as you can see here, they're not to be found on the original Huawei held up. So if you want to find out how, like me, you can have multiple watch faces on your Huawei Watch GT2 without even having root, please watch this video, follow my guide. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share the video, and three, two, one, let's start. What we need to do here is follow a very simple guide on how to install multiple watch faces. And then again, I'm gonna cover the part with no root required, version without root. So first we need to download an app called Teichi, right? I have also downloaded the multiple faces version one app and I'm gonna give you guys a link to the APK. Next thing we need to download is the Huawei Health version. Now they say here 10.0.2.3.2.3, but there is a more recent one that works with the Taiji application. And I'm gonna be also giving you guys the link to that one. And last but not least, we need to download also the Huawei mobile server. I have also downloaded one custom watch face, which I want to show you guys how to install. Now, before we start the Taiji guys, I have a recommendation. In start first the Huawei Health app and after that the Huawei mobile services. First, let me start the Huawei Health app, all right? Open with package installer, press just once. You want to install this application, just press install. This is very important because sometimes if you never had Huawei mobile services or Huawei Health on your phone, when you start Taiji, you're not gonna be able to do the rest of the business, namely recreate the packages. So just do whatever I do and it should work properly in most of the cases. Now don't open it, right? Install now also the Huawei mobile service application. Again, just once, right? Now it's also going to be installed. It's very important guys, you need to make sure that your phone is registered so you have a valid Huawei account. But this will happen when you open the Huawei mobile services. Just enter your phone number and details and email is gonna send you an SMS. So it's just like a standard registration, right? Okay. Now also press done. And now last but not least guys, also install the multiple faces APK. We need that, this is really the piece of file that is doing the magic. Press installation. Okay, now it's also installed. And now last but not least we have Taichi. Now after everything here is installed, just press Taichi, okay? Just once again, install it, right? And I'm gonna show you guys how you can do the trick in several steps. Application installed, press open here, okay? Now Taichi is there. We need to press the button here and go for create application. Now when you do like this, you're gonna get a list of all of your applications. You need to scroll down a little bit and just find the Huawei help. Now it's here, so just press like that. And let's press create. Now Taiichi is going to do another installation now of the Huawei help. Don't frustrate yourself, everything is fine. We just need to wait a little bit more. Taiichi has created the application and you must uninstall the original app first. Okay, fine, we press confirm, we press uninstall. Now you see what happens, Taiichi is uninstalling the original application and is actually installing the application Huawei services inside the module here. So what Taiichi pretty much is doing is like a virtual exposed module. All right, press ready to install, allow from source, now go back, all right, and complete action using Taiichi, just once. I'm only doing it that way because sometimes if you don't have these applications already installed, Taiichi will not able to find them. Okay, do you want to install this application? Press install here. Okay, we're now waiting for that to happen. Okay, now Teichi already installed the head application, but we are not yet ready. We need to go here again. We need to go again, create application. And now we need to scroll down and we need to find out now 
Huawei mobile services. Okay, if you're not able to find them like this, just go and do like this. Okay, Huawei. Okay, just search for Huawei and you're gonna see Huawei mobile services. So let's also select it and press create. Now Taichi is also going to install the HMS or the so-called Huawei mobile services. Without the Huawei mobile services, you cannot get your watch to synchronize with any Android phone. All right. Taichi created the application and you must uninstall the original application first. Confirm that's no problem for us. We uninstall it. And now Huawei mobile services are ready to get installed inside Taichi. So let's just press it. Start an application. We need to wait a little bit. Okay. And this is actually the second step. We're going to have only one more step and this is to enable the custom module to allow you swatching multiple faces. Now we see Taichi is working. We have health application installed. We have the Huawei mobile service application installed. Before we started Taichi, we installed also the multiple watches APK. So now we need to just go press here, go manage modules. And we're going to see guys, you should have here multiple faces. It's not going to be enabled. Just select the checkbox here, go back and this should do the job. Now, how can we test that this setup works? Very, very, very easy. We just need to launch now the health application, all right? When you launch the health application, you're gonna be guided to the HMS registration process. So in case you don't have an ID, you need to create one. Press agree here, okay? Huawei help starting, okay? Now guys, you need to either login or register because I have already my access, I'm just going directly to login. It also could be the case that by the time you're trying to login or register yourself, you're gonna get this notification from Huawei mobile services, meaning that it works. All right, so we press here to more, next, okay? Now again, we're going to get to back to the screen. Don't get yourself frustrated. Now continue the process. Welcome back. Okay, I have logged with my account. Now I'm inside Huawei Health. Press here, agree. And I'm actually, this is going to get like a very standard, straightforward registration and then initialization. So pretty much that's the Huawei Health. You need to allow the Huawei Health to make phone calls because we know that this watch supports phone calls. Allow all the time here. You're gonna get your access here now, guys. You, of course, then need now to pair the watch. So just go to devices. When you go to devices, you see that you don't have anything there. Just press add, go to smartwatch. You need to wait a little bit here. The application will update itself. You see here we have updating, okay? Again, don't get yourself frustrating. This is not gonna take you more than five minutes. Once the application is updated, we're just going to link our watch to the application and boom, there it is. We press here Huawei Watch GT2. We press then here pair. All right, then pair again. And now we get this message. Your device has been paired with Huawei Watch GT2. All right, let's now link them. And please confirm, okay, continue in case you want to get other updates. Now notifications is something I don't use. If you use notifications on your watch, you need to set them up from here. So I press cancel, I press down. Okay, allow help to access my contacts. Allow, right, like do it like that. And guys, we are here now. We see that now the Huawei Health is connected to the watch. And guys, here we have the watch faces. So if we click here on more, we're gonna get like the standard one, you know, from the Huawei Health. And some of them are actually very, very nice, but we are not watching this video for that, right? So we need to wait until now the application downloads that is everything on the watch. In my case, I have like 10, 15 custom watches already. Okay, so let's wait for here. Okay, guys, if you want to install something from the market, just press install. But if you want to get a custom watch, go here on the three dots and now choose upload faces. Allow health access to access your device, press allow here. And now we have this very important notification. This feature is for debugging and only available to watch face developers. But of course, yeah, we want to do this. So press yes here. And now we have access to our folders. Now, if we go to downloads, I've already downloaded one custom watch face notice always the extension of the file is hwt so let's press like this okay in case you get unsupported file format this happens on the oxygen os we need to do it again so let's go here upload watch faces press yes we then need to go to the device itself manually browse the download folder guys then i'm sorting everything by the latest files here i have the hwt again i select it i press install you see right now it is installing, okay? And I'm just gonna guys show you the end result. Now when the watch face is installed, I'm able to put it on my watch and you can see that it works. All right, it's already installed, so I'm gonna be putting my phone like this. Right now I'm using this watch face. Just hold the touch screen like this, scroll to the right and boom, here is my brand new 
custom watch face guys and you know the custom watch face world is really a very big one very complex one there are a lot of things there i'm gonna give you guys some links below this is one of the groups that i'm using it has more than 18,000 subscribers guys and you can find really tons and tons of custom watch faces it's very simple all the time download the hwt files store them on your download folder then just use the very same method that i used to load up your watch with this beautiful beautiful custom watches and with that said guys i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video if you like it please leave thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and never forget to come back for more stay safe stay at home your families vst over and bye